hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's tutorial and before uh, I begin this tutorial I wanted to say that I'm sorry I wasn't active for a while I've been busy and I hope that I get back on track so in today's tutorial I'm going to show, uh, teach you how to work with space escape it's a great free app I'll put the link in the description I'll show you, I'll teach you the basics and uh, how to import it, how to use it in Unreal Engine 4. You can also find other tutorials. Uh, mine is a bit different than others, but and I, and I explain why. So, when we open this software, the first thing that we see is this blank page. So, what we are gonna do is, oh, wait. Yep. Okay. Click on new layer, and you can see uh, the preview right here. We have three types of uh, stores. Well, three of, uh, three main things that we can use: points, billboards, and noise. And I'll show you how to work with each and every one of them. So first of all, let's work with the points. Now I will. I want to increase the size of it so I put three yep maybe three is too much for you maybe you want to go with two one depends on you and it's uh, I'm going to increase the amount at the one zero yep that's that's good so the next thing that we want to do is to change the color we are near color and far color I usually leave it alone you can work with this one if you want to so near color let's pick something between red and pink yep just change it a bit more yeah that's that's great so now what we're gonna do is to enable the mask enabled weird name <laughs> okay so uh, we have some options right here mask power mask noise scale these things these things can help you to locate these stars to um, change their position let's type 0.25 let's try 0.23 yeah, not, no, that's great. As you can see, this section is dense. You can see more points. And these sections like less points, less stars. That's what it do. We have mask noise scale. Let's try this one. 0.8 or 1.2. Now, I like this one you might change it to other numbers that you like to depends on you so I'm done with the points I'm going to add a now we're going to work with billboards here are the billboards and before I continue I want to say that you can use multiple points billboards with different colors to make anything that you want but I'm going to stick like with one point, one billboard and one noise layer. Okay, so let's continue. Let's um, change the amount. Hundred is too much for us, so I'm going to go with maybe thirty-five. Yep, that's that's good. And yeah, let's change the color. and let's change the far color as well yep that's that is good no 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 let's change a bit more yeah now that's that is what I like 
the result that I want. And uh, as you can see, size is big. Uh, like it's big. I don't want this be that big, so I'm going to change the size point four and here point zero, maybe five. Yep, point zero, maybe six. No, that's too much small. Zero point five. This one as well, point zero five or seven. Yeah, that's good. You you might think that it's too much small, but when we import into UE4, it'll be bigger than this. Yeah, and maybe change the color a bit more. Is that enough? I don't know. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so like the previous one, let's enable the mask enabled. Yep, you can see the change. We have to relocate them to somewhere else. Mask power. Point three. Not bad. This one is bad. <laughs> Point eight maybe. Yeah. And that's good. That that's great. That's exactly what I want. I'm I'm fine with this result. So I'm going to leave it. And the next part, which is the most tricky part, noise. Yep. As you can see super white. So let's change the color. Something like that. That'll do. That'll do. Yup. So let's change the noise scale. No, no. Let's change the their hold. Oops. Oh, I know why. Let's. Yeah. That's a bit better. Let's change the noise scale. Getting better. Yeah. Good enough. I don't know that. Let's just yeah. Let's just reposition it to here. Oh, by the way, I always put it on 4K for texture size. Maybe you want. Choose different size, depends on you. I just forgot for a moment. Yep. You can speak, uh, skip this part that I'm uh, choosing the settings if you want to. Depends on you. Yeah. That that's good, I guess. That's great. Yeah. So we're done. We made our night sky full of red and pink stars. You can like add the the same copy the same layers change it a bit with different colors and get variety of stars it's a great easy app it's very useful now let's save it choose a location Ch choose a name save it and then export it 
yeah, go to let's say yeah. I name it test. I put on 4K. It takes a little, like maybe about around 30 seconds to export. Not a big deal. So I I guess that you have seen that uh, most of people that other tutorials they use single DDS. But what I'm going to do is use six PNG files for Unreal. Click on save and let's wait until it get extracted. All right, we are back and uh, let's go to the directory that we saved. Um, wait was the nice guy. Here it is. We are done with the space escape. We can close it. Here as a here are we have six textures. Okay, uh maybe you can I'm not sure but I guess that you can combine them all together and get the one big picture but I don't know how. I usually check them one by one until I find my favorite texture to use. Like this one, this one is very good. Test fun five. Maybe I use this one. Let me check. Or even this one. This looks very nice. Test right one. Depends on you. Or even this one. They look quite nice. Very nice if you want to use them. Depends on you which one do you want and your result. So now what we're going to do, uh, we have to go to the Unreal Engine. It's a bit glitchy because I'm uh, also recording the oh what happened <laughs> because I'm uh, also recording uh, the screen so it, it's a bit glitchy so buggy yeah so what we're going to do we're going to click on the sky and here top right part you can see uh, the uh, sky blueprint right click on it and click on browse to asset it will bring you to here so now what you want to do you have to um, export the texture that you like like I want use this one import it into UE4 and uh, we have to import it into this material right here. Click on it. Let's open it up. Go to the sky color section. Import it. And we have to replace it with the default stars. Connect the text code to UV, to our new texture, and connect this to A for multiply. And what you're gonna do, you have to go to change the setting for text code. U tiling should be 2, V tiling should be 1. The default one was 12 by 12. Click on apply, and we're done. So, okay, let's see how it's, how it's going to be. Let's put it on night time, sun height, minus 1. Let's decrease the cloud opacity and increase the star brightness. As you can see, we have our stars. It's right here. Pretty cool. We have nice shades of uh, purple that we made with the noise. So very good with the as you can see the my my map is super bright it's because the lighting was for the midday not for night time so yeah you have to keep that in mind to change the lighting for your map pretty nice like let's say you are not happy with this this texture you can easily just change it with other ones 
that you have like let's say this one we import it into the UE4 real quick delete this one replace it with this one same as last time UV A apply let's see the change this one is better than that one than last one I believe very cool we have a small and big stars you can uh, increase the brightness if you want depends on you maybe you're working on a sci-fi or a space game so you want to make it brighter I know it's a uh, it looks like very weird on uh, because the sky is not really sick but you can make really sick skies with uh, I should say with uh, not super pink shades you know what I mean it depends on you and uh, let me tell you the reason that I use the six textures instead of that one DDS texture so in order to use that one you have to make another blueprint so you can't if you are going to make another blueprint you cannot use the clouds but right here as you can see I can work with the clouds and have these stars that I have change the unique color horizon color I can customize them but if you want to use that one the other way you're going to sacrifice the all of these great options but you'll get a great night texture maybe you're working on a I don't know on a project that you don't need these options then go ahead and use the other option that will help you I hope it be useful for you guys hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.